So I'm Liam Smith. I'm Professor of Clinical Epidemiology at London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. I'm also the Dean of Faculty of Epidemiology and Population Health, and I'm a GP in North London. In 1998, when I was actually an MSc epidemiology student at the School of Hygiene, uh, Andrew Wakefield and colleagues published a short paper in The Lancet suggesting that measles vaccine could cause autism. This uh, was subsequently retracted, but at the time it caused great concern nationally, internationally, and measles vaccine coverage rates fell from well over 90% to around 70%. We decided we might be able to tackle this question through the use of millions of medical records of children throughout the UK. We did the study. It took a lot longer than we first anticipated because it was a new approach and we would have to go quite carefully and, and slowly. But by 2004, we completed the study, the largest ever study of the question of measles vaccine and autism, and along with other studies internationally, pretty conclusively showed there was no association between measles vaccine and autism, and this helped restore faith in the vaccine. Probably naively, I think we believed that we might have tackled this concern and it was over. But of course, people's concerns about vaccines are always going to continue. They're going to continue because of new ways of spreading concerns through social media, or they're going to continue because of new vaccines or changes in the way they're used. And that's understandable. These are potent interventions which are highly effective and protect humans. And of course, there's going to be concern about side effects, and we have to tackle those as a medical community going forward. As a school of public health over the years, the School of Hygiene has played a key role in providing the robust evidence needed for vaccine programmes and continues to do so. And the work with parents and with, with patients, reassuring them about the safety of vaccines and the risks and benefits of those vaccines is crucial and one that we hope to continue in the future. The world's a fast changing place and new challenges and new health challenges are constantly arising. It's up to researchers, such as people based at London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine, to adopt new approaches, to innovate and really try and apply the best methods they can to these new challenges.